The Princess of Wands is the earthy part of fire, and for Crowley, she's the combustion of fire, the fuel of fire. She allows things to explode and expand. Um, she rules also the fiery quadrant around the North Pole. She has plumes of justice manifesting from her, and she has these strange horns, which for Crowley, um, she she sees as plumes of justice. This is the fire of justice uh, manifesting to make things happen. In her hand is a wand, the wand of the sun. And she appears naked in this car. All the other princesses are covered. And this shows that she's open to everyone and to make things happen. She's free to combine with a partner. So there's this element of being naked to embrace your lover as well. The shape of the, the flames that she has in there is, is, is redolent of the, uh, of the, of the um, Hebrew letter Yod as well, which is, which is the number of fire. Also Virgo as well too. Um, by, beside her, the, the altar is burning fiercely and you can see ram's heads and uh, other animals uh, around. Appearing from the princess, we have a tiger that's, that's on its side lying down. This tiger also appears in the full card as well. So the princess is very much this idea of spring, of energy, of power, of passion. Uh, the princess of wands is a, is a woman who is full of energy and can be vengeful, but she loves to live life. She loves to express life. Don't cross her, because you never know what forces of hell she might unleash on you.